This is Ethan Ballinger and I'm going to be showing you how to make a program for a permutation and a combination in C++. Um, this is a program I wrote mm, last semester during my freshman year of college. Um, and basically what a combination and a permutation is, if you don't know, um, it's just a basic formula right here, uh, taking your two numbers and uh, say an example would be how many ways can four students from a group of 15 be lined up for a photograph and the formula is you take the first number 15 and then uh, 15 factorial and then 15 minus 4 and that would be 11 factorial and so it gives you 3,200, 32,760 um, combination <coughs> is a little bit more complex it's the first number factorial over second number factorial times the first minus the second number factorial. So it'd be like 15 factorial times the second number, which would be 4 factorial times 15 minus 4, which would be 11 factorial. So I'm just going to show you all the code for it and kind of show you all what we're doing. Um, I just initialized um, a couple variables here. Uh, I made a C out statement and a C in statement. Um, entering so you could enter two um, integers. I uh, made a C out statement where you could read in the uh, whether you'd want to do a combination or a permutation. Um, I just used a char for that. Um, with this block of code, I'm just determining the uh, the first value. Um, X is the top value, and then denom is the bottom value. Um, it'd be like your your n and your r in this, and uh, answer is your final uh, answer for for the permutation. Uh, the combination is a little bit harder. Um, it's just this first block of code for the top. It's basically the same thing. At the bottom, you have to calculate, um, take the denom again, and divide x by the denom to get answer, and then divide answer by x to get answer 2, and answer 2 is what we're looking for. That's the answer to the whole thing. Um, it's kind of confusing, but you can view the code here. Here's the combination once again. This is the permutation. And here is the combination. Um, one other thing I incorporated in this was an if statement. Um, we're reading in a variable OP, and if OP is read in as P as the char P, then we're going to perform this option. There's a for loop inside this, another for loop, but this is called a nested for loop it's because it's a for loop inside a for loop. Um, else if, it's basically saying um, if P is read in, then perform this, but if C is read in, perform this. It's a combination. Um, Another for loop, another for loop, another for loop. Um, for loops inside of for loops get kind of confusing, but you just have to kind of stick with it, and it'll <coughs> pretty much work itself out. Um, the else statement is is if neither of these uh, if statements are met, then it performs this default action, which is error incorrect character, and then of course your keep window open because you're working in Windows. I'm going to um, run it and show you all what I'm talking about. Um, please enter two integers to be performed in a combination or a permutation. We'll just do four and two. We'll do permutation first. Uh, it's 12 and you can do the math using that formula. That's what we're looking for. Um, do it one more time showing you the combination four, two, and combination um, six again you can do the math that's what we're looking for now 
if I were to go in and put in 4 and 2 and then put in Z, it would give me an error, a runtime error, which um, brings you and shows you the error in your standard library facilities. Um, inline void error, constant string, uh, throw runtime error. Um, it's basically what this error is doing is causing a uh, it's a catch mechanism basically and it throws an error. Um, so that is your combina combination and permutation program. I'll show the code to you once again. Here is the permutation and here is the combination.